watching us present our projects to you is a big thank you. It's a big thing for us because we're trying to support our community and we think this is a good way to bring everybody together. So just thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so let's get started now. How many of you are fans of the comments, Tin Caps or Mad Ants? Yes, yes, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Now, how many of you can name three people on that team? Or either of the teams? Exactly. <laughs> That's the problem. This is why we created All Players Access, or APA. The purpose of APA, or All Players Access, is it's a unique business that allows fans and players to bind together after games and will just spend time with each other, meet all right, so our goal, what is our goal? So our goal is to provide a fan-friendly restaurant where players can meet the fans. We want everyone that comes to APA to leave with a big smile on their face. Now we are located at 930 South Calhoun Street. It's a very busy place downtown. It's a great area, and it's also a 10-minute walk to Parkview Field. Now, I went up to Detroit last summer to catch a Tigers and Cubs game. And I remember walking from the hotel to the field, it was a great experience for me to see downtown Detroit. Because if I think of Detroit, it's, I think of bankruptcy. But look from the walk there, it looked really nice. This is what I want to bring to Fort Wayne. Now, here's our business, what it looks like. This is actually a building that is downtown, and then we just remodeled the inside. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but this is our floor plan, floor plan in the middle here. Now we got the red up here is the kitchen. Down here in the black is the gift shop. The gift shop we're gonna sell Mad Ants merchandise, comments, tin caps, just everything that goes along with our minor league sports. Now in the orange up here is a sealed off bar area so we can keep it fam family friendly and even have a place for the people to have a nice drink after a big game or something. Now up here in the corner or at the end, it's something special. That's for the players. Now we talked to Coach Graham from the comments, and we also talked to the general manager of the Courtyard Marriott downtown, and they both had the same idea of what if the players don't want to be talking with the fans like all the time. So that's why we made that. It's a just safe haven for them, so if they're you know, annoyed or they just want to relax, it's just a place for them, only them, and it's just a nice little area. So we want to sell to everyone downtown, or not downtown, but in Fort Wayne. Uh, and that's a population of 256,000 people. Now we put a fun fact up there, we have 25.6% of people have a bachelor's degree in Fort Wayne. Now a bachelor's degree generally means they make more money than someone with an associate's or high school diploma. And we want the people to have a good experience and be able to buy our food. And that's why we're focused on people with a bachelor's degree as well. Now we look at the attendance for the Comets, Tin Caps, and Mad Ants last year. And we added it all up and got 722,000 people. We're not going to get that many people, like the entire year, from the sporting events, but if we just get 30%, 30% of those people, we'll see 216,000 people just from the sporting events. And that doesn't count events like Fort for Fitness or the, when the river becomes a big part of Fort Wayne. It doesn't count how many people we'll get from that type of activity. All right, so our business makes a total of $2.5 million a year. Because we are a sports bar and restaurant, most of our money comes from our sales of our food and our beverages. And so that means we have a net income of $326,000 and that includes all of our expenses. All right, so for our total expenses, it was over $1.7 million. So for facilities, which was $429,000, that included our, the cost of our building, 930 South Cumberland Street, which was $385,000, also included wall installation and wall demolition. Fixtures and equipment, those were the tables, chairs, TVs, and bar stools, and other bar equipment. Those were around $82,000. Insurance was $343,000. Payroll, we pay all of our employees depending on their position average wage, and that's around $488,000. General expenses, which was our charity, our promotion, everything else, that was $366,000. For our logistics, our, we want to be family friendly, and our bar can seat up to 50 people. 
We sell Pepsi products. Um, we have free Wi-Fi. Um, our business hours are like all we are open all week, and our restaurant is open from 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. And then our bar is open from 1 p.m. to 3 a.m. Um, our list of potential suppliers are like Costco or Sam's Club. And First Source or Three Rivers Credit Union is where we want to bank. And then Allstate and State Farmer where our insurance is. And then potential um, charities are Turnstone, Red Cross, and UNICEF. Our marketing, um, this is our flyer. It is telling you a general idea of what All Players Access is and our contact information is down at the bottom and our email is up there. So, so we'd like to show you a commercial we made for All Players Access. Our main competitors for our businesses is a sports slash sports bar slash restaurant are Champions Sports Bar and Restaurant, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wings etc., Wrigley Field Bar and Arena Bar and Grill. Champions would be the biggest since they are also located downtown and they're similar to our business. Our weaknesses are we have many seats to fill in our restaurant. Um, in the first year, we will most likely lose money, and we want to reach the full capacity in our business, and we have competitive money. Our biggest strength would be to bring in the local athletes and getting their names out into the world, because as Sam said at the beginning, no one really can name many players off the teams, so those are strengths. How are business benefits for plan? Well, we support downtown and riverfront developments. We create jobs for locals. We support our minor league teams. We support community fitness, such as 4 for Fitness and 5K runs. We attract more tourists to our city, and we sponsor youth teams. Um, this is our Instagram page. Um, you can follow us and we create an email, a Facebook, and a website. And you can like us and yeah. This is a logo we created and it's basically a key and a lock and it's unlocking the key to Fort Wayne. Yeah, and we talked to Every all the teams and everyone's on board, and everyone's uh, everyone's happy with the idea. So even our good friend, Mister. Uh, <laughs> Johnny and Tim Cat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And that's <laughs> all players access. Thank you. Alright, so you guys got any questions for us? Or Johnny? <laughs>
Are you going to be the all access, all players access? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Build it, you will come. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what what are your plans on like when there's not a game um, like because then I feel like you just turn into like a normal restaurant so like if there's not you know so what makes you stand out on those nights that there's not a game where the players can actually come and mingle with the with the after parties yeah oh yeah we're like a typical restaurant in that and we also have opportunities for like reception hall type things you know birthday parties. But I mean, other than the players coming to us, I mean, I guess it isn't anything too special. We have TVs, like every typical sports bar. Yeah. But that's our big pool. We want the players to interact with the fans. When you had done the, the number of attendance of all the games, um, I mean, 700, I think you said 722,000 yeah. is a huge number. Did you take into consideration of how many of those come to every, like every game? So is that just like all of the attendance of the days combined? Yeah, yeah. Um, I looked at it last night, and I talked with my family, and we were like, oh, yeah, what if, like, the same people come to multiple games? Yeah. Um, I don't think we could have found, we possibly maybe we could have found the total of different people that come to the games, but, uh, yeah, you're right. It's just... You just might want to consider yeah. your, what your margin then would be, because you said 30% of that number. Well, if half of those yeah. go to multiple games, that kind of narrows your, your number there for profits and stuff like that. Where did you get your insurance number when you were doing your expenses? That seemed really high. Um, we we um, multiplied our uh, net income. I mean, not net. Yeah, our net income by um, 018 percent, and that's how we got the number. We didn't really we didn't really like research like what insurance company we're gonna use. Or I, would just, I would just go. It just seemed real high. I would take a look at that. Mm -hmm. um, in your advertising, you said a five-star meal at a sports bar. Um, that may have been the case. <laughs> you have a five-star yeah. hamburger or something like that, but yeah. <laughs> and then you showed a shuttle in your advertisement. Um, yeah. Like a trolley, so you're gonna have a shuttle service after the game to and from the games, yeah. and we're gonna have a shuttle service at the bar that'll take you take you to the Coliseum where the Madden's practice and it'll also take you to historical sites of Fort Wayne since it's played a big part in America's history. It'll take you to like the old Ford, the Grand Wayne Coliseum and a couple other historical sites. And I would say just like looking at your flyer like, I wouldn't have had really any idea what this was going to be, like a restaurant or anything like that, um, until I read, like, this paragraph right here, which they're going to, when I'm looking at something, like, driving by, I'm not going to read a paragraph. So, you might want to reconsider, like, I like your lock and key thing here, but maybe mm -hmm. putting, like, some sports logos or something around it might kind of bring it into what your, your company actually is or your business is. Um, and just make sure it's all like lined up, like the location kind of gets lost because it looks kind of like part of the email and that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I like that you um, talk to like the coaches and the staff of the teams and stuff because you really do need such a huge buy-in from local sports um, because if the players aren't there, then you lose your main string. Um, and so that's kind of like a main a main risk of really the whole business as a whole so really ensuring that the players have extra incentive to be there um, beyond that room might be something to look at um, I'm interested to hear why you guys decided to include charity in your budget and kind of what played a role in that uh, yeah. yesterday we talked to coach Graham from the comments and he said that his players they like doing stuff for charity so like we wouldn't pay them while they're there and they're fine with that but like they would be fine with doing it for the charities like Turnstone or whatever. Okay. So that's kind of why we incorporated the charities. Yeah. So it's like it. paying them I liked that you um, had some stats about bachelor's degrees and how many, the percentage of the population who had bachelor's degrees. And I thought that was good research on your part. Um, 
Um, and then the idea to have a special area in the restaurant where the players could go, where SA pays in, was good. <laughs> it was good for that. Um, great location, obviously. Um, good. Um, good that you've got the Instagram, the email, Facebook, um, all of that. And I, the, the flyer, I mean, I do a lot of these. Um, I end up having to do a lot of these with my job. So at, I agree with you. Um, you just need to make sure, you know, like you've got South Calhoun, Downtown, Fort, and then Wayne on a second line. Just, just double check those things, you know, and make sure because that's something you could correct pretty easily, um, things like that. So, but I like the color scheme. I like the black, the red, the white. I think that's good. So, nice. Um, so as far as attracting tourism, though, this kind of seems like it's something that you're mainly trying to bring in more people who are already interested in Fort Wayne sports. So how does this bring new people to the Fort Wayne area? All right, so, you know, the visitor fans that come here to our games and sometimes watch their team and maybe watch ours. So if we could pull some of them to our restaurant and they could see downtown Fort Wayne and possibly they'd come back for the, the zoo possibly mm -hmm. or something like that and then maybe move, move here later. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 Thank you.